These specimens are practically imperishable, allowing them to be handled and understood in a very real way. This makes plastinets invaluable, not only for the training of future doctors, but also for educating medically interested laymen. A Body Worlds exhibition in Germany. The pieces on display are not works of art in a conventional sense, rather they highlight the craftsmanship and complexity employed by nature to create the human body. The bodies are real. They come from people who left instructions while alive that their bodies should be donated for plastination after their deaths in order to help educate future generations. To prepare a body for plastination, it's first necessary to halt its decay. To do this, a solution of formaldehyde is introduced into the body's arterial system. After approximately three to four hours, the body's whole arterial system has been filled. This destroys all the bacteria. The body will no longer decay, and the anatomical preparation, that is, the laying bare of its anatomical structures such as organs, muscles, sinews, and nerves, can begin. First, the skin and subcutaneous fat are removed. The organs, muscles and sinews, as well as the nerves of the body, are all surrounded by a thin layer of fibrous connective tissue. This tissue is carefully removed with a scalpel and forceps, enabling the individual anatomical structures to appear. Alongside a good anatomical knowledge and manual skill, Preparation requires much patience. Preparing a whole body can take anything up to 800 hours of work. After preparation, the actual process of plastination begins. In the first step, the water and soluble fat in the body are replaced by a solvent. For this, the prepared body is laid in a cold acetone bath at minus 25 degrees. The acetone, which is still liquid at this temperature, gradually becomes diluted with the body's own water. This dilution makes it necessary to replace the acetone bath several times. The water concentration in the acetone bath is continuously monitored in the laboratory. When no more water can be measured in the bath,